know if you ever thought about it, but I know I have. I've never attempted it, but I know six people throughout my life I've been directly involved with, either on a daily basis or a weekly basis, that have committed suicide, and I was completely unaware of the signs. And that's what this video is about. This video is about recognizing potential behavior in people who may want to commit suicide. It's about bringing awareness to suicide and mental health. Just a little sidebar is that suicide itself is not a mental health issue. It's a consequence that's brought on by a severe mental health issue. And that mental health issue is usually severe depression and a feeling of hopelessness. That individual only way out of this state of being is to help themselves by the means of suicide. So let's talk more about it. Let's bring more awareness to suicide and mental health issues. And I hope this video will do that. What are some of the common people? What are some of the people in our neighborhood, in our area that are more likely to commit suicide? People who have been through a divorce, who've been married for a number of years and went through a brutal divorce. People who have lost a spouse, police officers, people who work in the healthcare industry that deal with the terminally ill, people who have been institutionalized in psychiatric hospitals for long periods of time and are very frightened to leave that situation, to leave that institution, people who have been incarcerated for long periods of time, people who have violent, impulsive behaviors have a higher risk of committing suicide, People who have family members who are committed suicide. People who have attempted suicide in the past. And what are the warning signs? What are some of the behaviors you may see in somebody who's wanting to commit suicide? One of them is extreme bouts of sadness and moodiness. If you see this in somebody, it may be a sign of depression, that this person feels extremely depressed. And we all know that depression is one of the major causes of suicide. So long bouts of sadness and moodiness may be a symptom that this person is thinking about suicide. Another one is a change in their behavior and appearance. The person may walk faster or talk faster or walk slower or talk slower. Or they may not be too concerned in the way they look. You know, Mrs. Jones used to come to the office and look beautiful every day and now she comes dressed down wearing track pants or something but change in appearance a guy may come to the office dressed to the nines and all of a sudden he's, he's you know he's not shaving or his clothing is not pressed he just looks like he doesn't care anymore about his appearance so that's another symptom that somebody may be giving up on their lives or contemplating outing themselves another one is is somebody who is very very outgoing like myself who you may find one day who's withdrawing comes to the office or comes to your house and is very quiet or you may not hear about them for a while they may not be talking with other people around them so withdrawing from their usual daily activities withdrawing from their life, life isolating from life in general is usually a sign that somebody is depressed and maybe contemplating suicide so if you know somebody like that call them up another thing is that they might be preparing preparation like the person might be want to sell their house all of a sudden and give their money away they might be updating their life insurance policies they may be wanting to give their valuables in their house away. That may be a sign that somebody is wanting to commit suicide. And this symptom that you may see that, you may see that in somebody and nothing really is going on. Like their life seems to be okay, but they're all of a sudden want to give things away that are very personal to them. That may be a sign that that person is severely depressed or something really wrong is going on in their lives and they're they want to commit suicide or they're thinking about it. Another one is, is that, I think this really fools people that you know that I really didn't think that Joe wanted to commit suicide is because the person may become calm, cooperative, somebody who's all of a sudden was moody and sad all of a sudden becomes very calm. 
becomes very normal. Extreme calmness, extreme acceptance of themselves. And that is exactly what's going on. People get slapped in the face when they find some people commit suicide because of this one. But I just want to say a last final note that suicide is extremely preventable. Is extremely, extremely preventable. It's 100% preventable. We need to be a will. We need to build awareness and not be afraid to ask somebody at work, family member, or friend: Is there something wrong? Is there something I can do for you? Because a lot of times, that's all it would take is just a simple what's going on what's going on with you what can i do to help you and if you find somebody that's going to commit suicide they say to you hey terry i'm going to commit suicide call 911 right away do not leave the person alone sit with that person talk with that person help that person go through help that person out what they're going through don't leave them alone. If there's, if, there, if there's a knife on the table, get rid of that knife. Get them out of danger if possible. Don't let them do it if you're there. Support them. We can all help somebody who wants to commit suicide. If you think that you want to commit suicide, reach out, get help. The world will be a better place with you in it. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a comment below. And if you didn't find it helpful, leave a comment below. This is the untwisted voice of Terry G. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.